there was this asteroid uh, that collided with Earth uh, over uh, Chelyabinsk in the Soviet Union, in Russia, sorry. That's the power of one of these asteroids, 10,000 Hiroshima bombs. This is Chicxulub Crater, right at the center of the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. You can see a way bigger hole, a crater that's 150 kilometers wide. This crater is the second biggest one on Earth. Around 65 million years in the past, a colossal asteroid similar in size to a massive mountain slammed into the Gulf of Mexico while traveling at an astonishing speed of over 60,000 kilometers per hour. This impact created an explosion equal to more than 100 trillion tons of TNT and formed a crater spanning 200 kilometers. This event triggered a global catastrophe that led to a history-making disaster, causing the extinction of around 80% of all life on Earth. Occurrences like these are quite uncommon, even though we've experienced larger asteroid impacts before. However, our safety isn't guaranteed. In Stephen Hawking's final book, he wrote about how an asteroid collision is a threat for which we lack any form of defense. The last significant collision with Earth happened roughly 65 million years ago. In today's episode, we will delve into the possibility, possibility of asteroid hitting the Earth. What the principle of physics and law of probability tell us about the occurrence. This is Reveal the Mystery. If you are curious to learn mysteries of the world, space and beyond, consider subscribing subscribing. In 2012, astronomers came across an asteroid that had a 1 in 3,000 chance of colliding with Earth within the next 40 years. Fast forward to 2013, and this asteroid was on track to make a close encounter with our planet. In February of that year, precisely 16 hours before an event that took place, an asteroid named Duende passed astonishingly close to Earth, just 28,000 kilometers above its surface. However, the truly astonishing aspect was that merely hours prior to this, an asteroid had struck us, catching everyone off guard. During the earlier hours of the same day, situated over Chelyabinsk, Russia, an asteroid with a diameter of 20 meters detonated about 20 kilometers above ground. Moments before its explosion, it would have appeared larger in the sky than the sun to observers. This occurrence held a force 30 times greater than the destructive power of the Hiroshima nuclear bomb, and perplexingly, we had no advanced knowledge of its approach. So even though we thought an asteroid would come close to Earth on that day, our prediction was wrong. The undeniable truth is that many asteroids, big and small, will eventually hit our planet. Some might hit while you're alive, but others might not hit for a very, very long time. Of course, we don't want to go through what the dinosaurs experienced. But here's a big question. How huge does an asteroid have to be to cause such huge damage? Let's start with something quite small like the size of a car. About once a year, an asteroid this size hits Earth. If one were to hit us right now, it would make a really bright light in the sky, but it wouldn't harm us because it would burn up as it enters the air. Asteroids like these, around the size of a car, hit Earth approximately every 10 years. If one were to come straight down above you, you might even see it break apart in the sky. Some bigger pieces might even reach the ground. About two minutes after it enters, you would hear a really loud noise, like the sound of a busy city. Usually, our protective air can handle these visitors from space. Now let's delve into the scenario of a colossal, one kilometer wide asteroid colliding with Earth. Before that though, I'm excited to demonstrate the outcome of such an impact. This is Australia's largest granite monolith, a huge piece of land that's about 1,000 meters wide. If this rock turned into an asteroid and came towards us, we'd be really worried. The impact would be so big that events like this happen every six million years. When it comes into our air, its energy would be like 750,000 million tons of explosives. From about 50 kilometers up in the sky, the asteroid would start to break apart and smaller pieces would fall down to the ground. When these pieces hit, they would quickly turn into vapor and liquid making a big hole in the ground that's 16 kilometers wide and 700 meters deep. People nearby would see a huge ball of fire in the sky, much bigger than the sun. The ground would shake a lot, like during a really big earthquake. 
Big pieces of rock, as big as skyscrapers, would be thrown all around the area. Just 30 seconds after the impact, a strong wave of air traveling super fast, over 3,000 kilometers per second, would arrive, causing even more damage. All of this destruction would happen because of a small asteroid, only one kilometer wide. Remember, the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs was more than 10 times bigger than this. It's really important that we take steps to protect ourselves from these dangers. Even scarier are the asteroids that are bigger than one kilometer. They could cause a lot of harm. The chances of one of these huge planet killer asteroids hitting Earth are one in 50,000 every 100 years. If that happened, it would be very bad. There would be a gigantic hole in the ground that's hundreds of kilometers wide. Many countries nearby would be severely damaged and it might even cause big problems around the world, similar to what happened to the dinosaurs. People have been worried about this for a long time. For example, in 2004, scientists were concerned about an asteroid called Apophis, which had a 2.7% chance of hitting Earth in 2029. Apophis is as big as a big sports stadium and could be more powerful than lots of nuclear bombs if it hit us. But now, after more studies, we're pretty sure Apophis will safely pass by Earth in 2029 without any danger for at least a hundred years. However, there are many more asteroids like Apophis out there, some even bigger. So let's imagine we find an asteroid that's definitely going to hit Earth. Scientists have three main ideas about what we could do. First, we could push it away by hitting it really hard with something. Second, we might use a special spacecraft to pull it away using its gravity. And third, as a last option, we could explode a big bomb near the asteroid to break it into smaller pieces that would go away from Earth. But this last idea could make more problems if not done carefully. Scientists are already trying these ideas. NASA's DART mission successfully changed the path of an asteroid called Dimorphos by hitting it with a spacecraft in 2022. For now, we don't see any asteroids that will hit us in the next 100 years, which is good news. But there could still be asteroids we haven't found that might hit Earth in the future. The important thing is that humans are strong and can overcome challenges just like we did when a big asteroid hit Earth 800,000 years ago. So we're prepared to face whatever comes our way, 